Hi guys, smooth movement of the camera on the track through the space creates magical atmosphere that's being used in the animation as well as in the film. Today I will try to show you how to animate the camera on the path in Blender. If you don't have the Blender yet, you can download it using the link below. It's time to start Camera Rig Friday. Open new scene in Blender and delete everything from the view by pressing X. Shift A and add plane. Press S and scale it up quite a bit. Shift A and add monkey. Click on the plane, then press 1 for front view, G and Z to drag the plane down like that. Press and hold the scroll, then move mouse back. Right click on the monkey and smooth shade it. Go to modifiers tab and add subdivision modifier. Set render to 4 and viewport to 4. Shift A and add the cube. G and Y and move it back. Shift D to duplicate the cube. G and Y, move it like that, then G and X and bit to the right. Using this pattern, set few more cubes and add some spheres around the monkey. Leave some room for our path. I'm going to speed it up. When our scene is ready, press Shift A and add curve circle. Press S to scale it up. Then G and Z and drag it a little bit up. Shift A and add camera. G and Y and move the camera to the circle. and then G and Z, so it's on the same height.
Press Shift, then mark the camera and a circle together. Press Ctrl P and follow the path. Our camera is already moving on the path. Shift A and add the empty plane axis. S and scale it up a bit. Click on the camera and go to the Constraint Properties tab, then add Track 2. As a target, set our empty, set it to Z and up Y. Now our camera view is locked to our empty. Go to the camera settings and activate depth of field. Set focus on empty. and F step to 1. It's time to add some colors to our view. Click on Monkey and go to the Materials tab. Press New. You can copy my settings or do it your own way. Same with our floor. Do it with all objects in our scene. I'm going to speed it up. We need to add lights. Press Shift A and add Sun. G, Z and drag it up. Set the angle. Duplicate the Sun 
by pressing Shift T and move it a bit. Set the angle. Go to the light settings and set the strength to 3. And the strength of the first sun to 10. It's time to add the environment image to word settings. Click on the little circle next to the color and choose environment texture. Navigate to the HDR image. You can download it using the link below. Go back to the light settings and change the main light strength to 20. and second light to 10. Go back to the camera settings and set f-step to 1.5. Go to output tab and copy my settings. Navigate to the file where you want to save the animation render. Name the animation. Set the file format to FFMPEG and container to MPEG4. Go to Render tab and copy all my settings. Render image just to make sure you are happy with the results. If you are happy, render animation. That's the results of our work. 
let's try to work with different curve that you can adjust a bit more than circle. Delete our circle by pressing X, then Shift A and add the curve path. S to scale it up. G, Z and drag it a little bit up. G, Y and drag it to the camera. G, X and set the left end of it by the camera. Go to edit mode. Choose a move tool and start curving it. You can copy my curves or design your own. Make something that goes in all three dimensions. Once you're happy, go back to object mode. Mark camera and our curve and press Ctrl P, then select follow path. Go to the path properties and change animation length to 300 frames. Before we render it, we need to change the file name, so go to the output settings. Render our animation. Thank you for today, it was lovely to work with you guys, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. On Wednesday we're going to continue our animation project, so please join us on Wednesday. Let the force be with you! Next Friday we're going to practice dolly and zoom combination. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to don't miss out. Take care guys!